Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing our September 2022 grocery haul. I cannot believe that it's already September. That is crazy, but it's so exciting because it is the Burr months and those are my favorite. September through like March, absolute favorite time of year. Like I would love to just relive those times over and over and over. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Anyway, this month, we have meat in the freezer. If you're new, welcome. Hang on. I'm Tiffany. This is Large Family Love. We have lots of kiddos and we cook at home all the time. So we go through lots of food. We do breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, everything at home. We send everybody with lunches. They go to school, my husband, everybody. So all the food comes from home except the rare case that we go out, which we try not to do. So, as I was saying, we are stocked up on meat. We purchased half of a cow, half of a pig, Plus we butcher our own chickens and we have a pretty stocked pantry. So we didn't really need to like fully grocery shop for the month. I meal plan for the entire month and I also sell those on Etsy if you're interested, they're linked down below. But we do, we used, always do like a full month grocery shop. So, and then we just go back for fresh milk and fruits and veggies. That way we have everything we need. It eliminates the trips to the store for gas. It eliminates running to the store, grabbing extra things. It's just an easy way to save money for us one trip to the store versus lots. It just, I'm telling you, it just saves a lot. So we do monthly grocery hauls, but this month we truly didn't need things for our meal plan. So my husband and I had to talk and we're like, what should we do? Should we skip grocery shopping and just buy the fresh stuff with prices going up? Should we buy what we can now? What should we do? So we sat down one night and he was like, let's just buy baking stuff you know, um, sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, like that kind of stuff. That way we have it on hand. So we went really heavy on stocking the pantry. Most of the stuff that we bought for this month, really we didn't need for meals. There are a couple things and I think I point them out for the video. I already did the video. I'm just trying to take the intro now. Mommy. Mommy. So you'll see and I'll tell you what it is. And at the moment, I still have things to put away, but I don't remember how much I spent. I went to Aldi and I went to Walmart and you'll see all of it together. I did this within lots of days. This has taken me forever to get done because we are in a very busy week right now. And, but it's finally done and it's all here and we're ready to go for the month. We're excited. If you purchase the Etsy meal plan, I can't wait to cook alongside with you all month long. It's gonna be so fun. Make sure you tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag eat at home. And I can't wait to see the meals that you share. So I'm so excited. Let's do this. And here's our groceries for the month. So the first store I have for you this month is Aldi. And Aldi, we focused more on stock up things and then snacks for school. And I got a couple fresh things. And I got the cutest things. So this, I think these were both $5.99 or $6.99. So we got this. And then this is actually reversible. This is welcome to our pat pumpkin patch. And on the back, it says thankful. My mom got one, a different one. She got the same one of these. There were a couple different styles of these. And then I can't remember what my mom said. Mom, what did your little sign say? Do you remember? No. I don't either. Yeah. I don't know, but hers was really cute too. I wanted to get two of them. They were so cute. I couldn't decide, but I finally ended up with the truck because it was just adorable. We got two of the pizzas because tonight Ashlyn is having her friends over for a sleepover for her birthday party and she wanted pizza and she picked out Supreme and pepperoni. So that's what those are for. I got a 10 pound bag of potatoes. Um, I actually got a smaller bag and then I put it back and got this one. It was $6.49 for those. Um, just cause potatoes are outrageous right now. And I was like not wanting to pay for them, but at the same time, a little bag versus a big bag. It was a better deal for the big bag. So I got those. Um, this was just stock up stuff, uh, powdered sugar, brown sugar. And then Ashlyn picked out some chips to pack for school. So we got kettle chips, salt, sea salt and vinegar, I think. And then a Everly picked these out and then Ashlyn picked out barbecue. We're stocking up on to tortillas. We're just about out downstairs. So I got two of the small ones, I think six of the regular size and then four of the big ones. We use the big ones for crunch wraps. We use um, these tortillas for, we were just talking about it, how many we go through. We use these more than we use bread. We do burritos and tortilla wraps. or wraps, quesadillas, like all kinds of stuff with those a lot and taco nights and stuff. So we fly through tortillas. This is all just stock up stuff for downstairs, strawberry and orange jello because they have no dye there. Um, same thing with the pudding. So we got vanilla and chocolate just to throw downstairs. I don't have any plans for them, but while I was there, I grabbed them. We got two milk chocolate and two mini of the semi-sweet chocolate to throw, up, throw downstairs. Um, we needed lettuce, grapes, some blueberries, and some strawberries. And we got some tomatoes and avocados and bananas. And then they were completely wiped of cream cheese, minus we saw one of these. 
that was in the box with these. So they didn't have any regular cream cheese spread. So we got two whipped and they didn't have any of these besides this one random one that had fallen. So we grabbed that. That whole thing was completely empty. We got two sour creams, two baking powders, two mayo, one chili sauce, two barbecue. I got regular and then honey barbecue, two ketchups, two ranch. We got one um, orange juice. We only needed like one or two gallons of milk. We still have quite a few downstairs, so I only grabbed just a little bit. We got some pineapple, and then we got, Ashlyn picked out some snacks for school. So she got strawberry applesauce, some cinnamon graham crackers. We got two, got some, just some like Ritz, but you know, Aldi brand. We got some more popcorn because we were about out. So we got two boxes of that. We got, I really picked these out, these fudge cookies. And then Ashlyn picked out extra toasty and regular the Aldi brand Cheez-Its. Let's see. She also picked out these strawberry and chocolate pastry crisps. I grabbed these because I figured um, she could pack them for lunch or Haley or Layla would like those. So we got blueberry and strawberry. I haven't tried these for Layla yet. So I was thinking she would like those. And then I just grabbed two boxes of each of the bow tie. Oh, wow. No, I didn't. I grabbed three of those. I thought I grabbed two of Rotini and two of these, but I was wrong. That's okay. And then we grabbed two, um, I think these are two pound. Yeah, these are two pound of elbow noodles. Got all that. We got three different kinds of cereal. Let's see, we got cinnamon crunch, kids, berry kids crunch and cocoa rice. And I did not know, I don't know how, but I did not know that Walmart or Aldi sold green chilies. So I grabbed this, this was all that they had. So I grabbed six of those. And then we grabbed a, car, or a tray each of peas corn and there's green beans under there and then um 12 of the bacon or maple and cured bacon baked beans and then we got some yogurt so we just grabbed three trays of them they were pretty much i don't even know i didn't even look i saw the colors and i was like oh the kids will eat those there's vanilla strawberry peach blueberry i'm not even sure honestly we just kind of grabbed them and brought them home and then i saw these on the aldi ad and i was like those sound so good so i grabbed them mango strawberry and kiwi I thought these would be great for smoothies. And then this one is a paradise fruit blend. It has mango, dragon fruit, fruit, avocado, and passion fruit. I thought those would make great smoothies. So that's all we got from Aldi. Just like I said, stock up stuff and stuff for lunches really. And now I'm back with the Walmart portion of the order. This is not a lot of stuff. And I had asked my husband what we should buy this month because we are pretty stocked on things that we need. So I was like, should I, should I not? So his solution, he actually like planned most of this. He said stuff to bake with and dried beans and stuff like that. So this is basically just that. It's kind of just stuff to throw in the pantry and have on hand, especially with baking season coming up. I mean, I bake a lot as it is, but also with Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of that coming up, we wanted to go ahead and stock up on some stuff. So the only thing that we really got for this month is just a couple of things and I'll show you, I'll just kind of tell you like what's for the pantry stock up and what's what we actually needed. So the bleach, we got two things of bleach and apple cider vinegar, two bags each of these flour and sugar. And this is all just to put downstairs and just to kind of stock back up. So that has nothing to do with being needed right now, but just to have. Um, we got pinto beans, lima beans, great northern beans, black beans, and green split peas because he asked for me to get some dried beans to have downstairs. So I did that. And then I really wanted the small cans of pumpkin, but our Walmart was out of the great value. And I don't, I don't want to pay for the other brands because they're so much more expensive. So instead I just got the bigger sizes. So I got six of those because it's, you know, pumpkin season. Finally, I got six cinnamon apple sauces and then I got four green chilies cans. We love to cook with these, but like I said, I just got some from Aldi, which you just saw. So I only grabbed a couple of those. And then I got six of the pizza sauces. I like to run these through the freeze dryer and powder them. And then as I need them, because we don't use like a whole one of these on a pizza night. So I had a great thought of putting it through the freeze dryer, powdering it, and I can just pull out however much I need and it doesn't go to waste. So that is my plan for those is to run them through the freeze dryer. I got four things of salt. And then, like I said, also just for like stock up pantry kind of thing. We got two boxes of penne pasta. And then this is something I haven't bought in, I can't tell you how many years, but with the price of potatoes going up and skyrocketing, I figured it wouldn't hurt to have these on hand if we needed some mashed potatoes for any reason. We didn't have any. And 
I don't know. I mean, I do have some freeze dried potatoes and stuff, but I just figured it wouldn't, they were a dollar a box. I was like, it doesn't hurt to just have them downstairs if needed. So that's what those are for. We got, I think six bags of broccoli. It was the only vegetable I got this month because last month I bought a ton of frozen vegetables and that's the only one we seem to have eaten a lot of. I actually ordered Walmart brand tater tots, but they substituted for the name brand kind, which is fine. I ordered some fish fillets for, I don't know if it's lunch or dinner for this month. So that was actually for this month. And then this is also just stock up stuff. This buttermilk powder blend, if you don't know about it, because I didn't know about it for a long time and someone commented and told me about it, it is a miracle working thing because whenever I buy buttermilk and need it, I never need the whole thing and it ends up going bad or I don't want to buy it just for one thing. This is amazing. So you can make it, I put it in the fridge, it lasts like forever and you have buttermilk whenever you need it. You just add water and it makes buttermilk. It's amazing. I ordered some baking soda. Again, just kind of stock up stuff. Ordered some heavy whipping cream because I learned that you can freeze it. I don't know if that's true, how well it freezes, but I've heard that it freezes very well. So my plan is to throw those in the freezer actually until needed. And I was going to make our own yogurt. So I ordered two of these and I ordered the Fairlife milk. They were out of stock. So I'll just throw those in the freezer until needed. I got some flavored tea because my kids like this flavored tea. And with homeschool, I had a really great idea of doing tea time Thursdays. So when we do our read alouds, we'll sit down and have tea time. So I got those and I thought it would just be cute because I see a lot of other people do that. And I was like, my kids would love that. So I think we're going to do it like twice a month, just do tea time Thursdays because um, Tuesdays don't work for us. So we're going to do Thursdays and um, just sit down and listen to read alouds and have some cute little snacks and some tea. I got some garlic and then we got some Parmesan cheese. We use that for Caesar salads and I got some crescent rolls and I think that's, yeah, that's it. That's all we got from Walmart today. Not much, but just kind of stocking up. So I spent $2.56 at Aldi, $1.96 at Walmart. So $442 so far. So that was it. That is our groceries for the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, please. And make sure you tag or tag along. Does that make sense? I was gonna say, make sure you tag along and see all of our videos. We share daily videos on all this food that we use. I show how I make our breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, everything all month long, every day, you'll have a video ready unless there's things happening. I've had a couple of videos missed lately because my mom is in town and that's a little bit more important, but on the normal, we do daily videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.